we're going to take advantage of this, we can do it as part of assessment. So when we're doing an assessment of an organization, we should be asking ourselves, where are the waves? Where are the flows? Where's the resistance? These are, these are essential to doing a good assessment of an organization upfront when you're doing discovery work. And then of course there's value stream mapping. And what all of this is suggesting is that value stream mapping as we do it today is too narrow. Value stream mapping needs to be much more multidimensional. Right now it just focuses on the work, but we can start to measure that in terms of the fast and long and the short and slow elements. And as this has shown, there are so many more dimensions to the work that goes through an organization. If an organization is a living system, which it is, then there are elements of funding, there are elements of, of communication. All of these things can be just as relevant, if not more relevant than the flow of work, can be creating bottlenecks and they're not reflected in traditional value stream mapping. And so the next thing I wanna show um, and this, this is not something I have right now, but I, I want to take value stream mapping as we're doing it within current organizations and start to show multi-layered value stream maps where we can see how the flow in one dimension may affect, affect the flow in another. So it's also not a one-time exercise. One of the things that's a problem with value stream mapping as it is today is that it's one and done. Uh, now, or it's, it's, it, by the time everyone gets done with value stream mapping, they pretty much never want to do it again. And uh, so that doesn't jive very well with this idea of constantly evolving systems. So not only do we, I want to see things multidimensional, I also want to see them lighter weight uh, because it's just too expensive right now to do it the way we traditionally do. So if we're looking at how the organization should be designed, we should be looking for that turbulence and trying to create laminar flow. Um, again, going back to the ideas I had around pressure, we need to find ways to put pressure in the right places and not eliminate all of it. And uh, matching your pulse to your customer demand. So concepts like tack time apply very well here. The lean concept of tack time is something that I think helps guide us toward what the appropriate rates of flow are. And then applying the few large and many small and aiming for fast and long and slow and short. So the constructor law can help us better identify these areas of flow and then we can use that in our practices to help change the system to improve that flow. The value stream mapping can benefit from some of this and the organizational design can be changed to account for that.